Hey, Jeremy Bates here, Buffalo Modular Homes, and behind me is a 1,312 square foot, three bedroom, two bath ranch with an attached garage, a front porch, and a full basement. Let's take a walk through. I really like the design of the exterior. The, the house you can see has a nice step back here with the front porch and dormer, and then also stepping back for the garage. I think it lays out really nicely from the outside. I think it gives it a great view. Here's the view from the other side, and you can see that we're just coming into spring here, and we still need to do the finished landscaping, but uh, the rough grade is done and the gravel driveway is down. Let's walk through in through the, the garage door, and let's talk about price. This house right now with today's inflation is $335,000 turnkey as you see it. This is a upgraded drywalled and finished garage. You can see we've got a, a big overhead door, two car overhead door with a man door here at the front. We have one window. We have four lights on the ceiling and we've got a really nice overhead door here liftmaster is very quiet it's a very quiet uh, standard motor and then coming in to the house we come in through the utility room and you can see here we have the washer and dryer set up we have seamless lvp flooring throughout the whole house we have a lot of recessed lights. You can see they've opted to put the electrical panel upstairs in the utility room. And we have a big coat closet here. Okay, so back to pricing. $335,000 turnkey on a full basement. This has an eight foot basement. And that's about, 200, about $250 a square foot. Now Factory Direct, where we come and install the house on your foundation, is gonna come in at around $160,000 right now. Okay, and that's a 1,300 square foot ranch home, two box ranch. And uh, if you're capable of doing some of the finishing work yourself, the stitching and seaming and hiring a local contractor for your garage, the Factory Direct option is a great option to consider. So going this way here, we have a big closet in the master bedroom. And looking back here into the, um, into the bathroom, we have white cabinets, a double vanity, toilet, LVP, the same LVP flooring in here as in the rest of the house. And we have a stand-up shower with a bench, tiled shower, and there's a, a recessed light right above the shower as well here. Okay, so coming back out of the master bedroom, goes right in to, actually this is a big pantry here, off of the nook. And the nook is here, of course, in front of the slider. And you have a big eat up island here as well. Uh, looking out in the backyard, again, we've got the finished landscaping to do here. We have a temporary set of stairs, uh, pressure treated set of stairs here until the homeowner puts on his own deck. Uh, which he'll do at a later time. But the kitchen is a fantastic kitchen. I like it a lot. It's white. Of course, it's white, as you can see, stating the obvious. <laughs> but the, uh, the island is darker. And so it's a darker wood on the island as opposed to the, uh, the rest of the cabinets. And uh, tell me, you know, do you guys like the different colored island? Uh, I, I like it. I think it looks nice. I think I do like having the same countertop. I know that some people are doing the darker countertop on the exterior and then a different color countertop on the on the island. I think it really depends on how big the kitchen is, uh, what kind of overall style you're going for. But I think this uh, kitchen turned out really, really well. We have uh, we have a quartz countertop and we have a tile, white subway, subway tile backsplash here, which I think turned, uh, turned out really nicely. Okay, so there's a, a look at the island here from the other side. Lots of storage, of course, and I do like having a couple of windows right above the sink. 
I think that's fantastic. So let's uh, come back over to the, the basement. Those are the basement stairs. This is the living room here, right off of the, the kitchen. Of course, it's open concept. And we've got a, a place, uh, an outlet up above here for a wall-mounted TV. We have a coat closet. There's the front door coming in from the front porch. A couple of windows here. And then on the other side, we have the other side of the living room, we have the other bedrooms. So you have bedroom one and you have bedroom two. Okay, both with closets, both with windows. And then you have a, a, a nice, nice bathroom with a tiled shower, transom window, and quartz countertop in here as well, undermount sink. And there's that LVP flooring running right through the whole house. Just off of the bathroom here, we have a little linen closet. And let's go down and check out the basement. So coming down here, coming down into the unfinished basement, we have a, a stairwell down, of course. We have the insulation wrap on the exterior of the, um, uh, the perimeter wall. And we have an I-beam you can see here. We have an I-beam and of course that's gonna reduce the number of these vertical support columns, okay? We have a Heil Furnace, which is a good brand. We have it up on blocks here. We have all metal plumbing, uh, sorry, metal, uh, metal plenum. Um, that's metal ductwork here. We have that throughout the whole house. Up above here on the rim joist, you see we have the spray foam insulation. Uh, we have uh, PEX. Uh, PEX is the, uh, the plumbing water lines. And uh, here's our egress window, which is code here for any new construction home right now uh, in New York State. You have to have an egress window. Of course, they'd be able to install a, uh, or put in a, a bedroom down here in the basement as well. And that would be to code uh, with that egress window. We have, uh, we have an A.O. Smith tankless hot water heater here. And we have a disconnect switch here. So whenever the, whenever the service feed comes in from the street and the line to the panel box, which is upstairs in the utility room, is beyond a certain distance, then you have a disconnect switch here. Okay, and here's the sump pail. Okay, and there's your water line coming in from the outside. A couple of glass block windows as well. And that's a big basement. There's a look to the other side. So coming up, back into the kitchen here. So that's the tour. I really appreciate you watching. I really like this house. Uh, I think it turned out really well. The quality is a very good quality home. 1300 and change square feet, three bedrooms, two bath. Um, about $330,000. If this is something that's of interest to you or you have a, another plan altogether that you want us to give you a price on, we'd love to connect with you. Reach out at your convenience. Um, just go to www.buffalomodularhomes.com and connect with us there and we'd love to uh, have a conversation with you about your project. Thanks for watching and have a great day.